I use anything. I really don't care. I'll use digital, I'll use film, but I like film. That's my chosen area that I like to focus on. When the edge of the film sort of eats into the image, like it's organic, it's real, it's like an, it's more like printmaking. I like that. It's the, the indefinable of photography that's really hard to achieve. And that's what excites me. That's why street photography documentary is so awesome because it's unpredictable and you've got to use your innate ability to shoot that. You can do a pretty image, you know, a person walking past a, shed, a wall and there, there, there's the silhouette and you can crack off a frame and it's going to be a cool image, but it's not a great image. There has to be layering in the images, there has to be maybe a story to tell, there has to be that one odd element that just brings it out of the ordinary into something special and they're really hard to find. I mean, in reality, you can shoot for weeks and weeks and weeks and not get anything. The greatest image in the world is there. You just need the right light, you know, the right subject, the right moment, the right everything, you know, it's there. No matter what, don't be afraid to push the button. I just will always push it, I'll never resist it. If I waste film, I waste film, I don't care. You never know, you know, you never know what you might get, so you just always push it, because something surprising might appear. Don't fight the instinct to shoot. Don't fight it. At the moment I use an MP because it's fully mechanical. There's nothing really electronic in it and it's just designed to last forever. They're very instinctive cameras. The frame lines are sort of generalised in it so it allows you to see people coming in the frame, people coming out of the frame. It's designed, it's not designed for perfection, it's designed for people and capturing instinctive moments of life. To describe a day of shooting, on the street in Sydney for me. You, you travel either on bus, on ferry, on train. And you step off the train and boom, it hits you in the face. There's life, there's canyons of metal and steel and concrete. It's like being sort of dropped into the, the belly of the beast. It's the fact that you sort of look into it and, it and the people around you and they kind of envelop you and, they, and you've got to let the people wash over you and it's about making order out of that chaos. And it's almost like being born onto the street. <laughs> Okay. When I load my film on my 35 mil, I instinctively just look down at the, I don't look up ever. Well, mostly ever. You know things are happening around you. You know possibly where obviously where you're shooting is interesting. You know, ignorance is bliss. I've just pressed pause. I'm loading and then I press play again. And then I start up again like a machine. Fire it up, make sure it's winding on, done. Ready to rock and roll. You know, if you're more interested in the gear, then just be about the gear. This thing is a tool. It is to be used. As long as it works and takes a good image, then that's enough. What matters is what turns up in front of you and what that can, how, how that can help you achieve your goals. And how pretty a camera is doesn't help you achieve anything. Just because it's on a phone doesn't make any difference. It's still a camera. It's just an extension of your art practice. Yeah, I was hoping that little birdie was gonna run out. There he is, he's going out. Come on, buddy. Don't run away. There we go. That's enough.
I just really like the nice lines of the branches. And when in summer, it would be all lots of leaves and lots of clutter. And with this, you get these really kind of more creepy, interesting type of things that I really like. Just adds a bit of character and a bit of depth to the image, a bit of interest, hopefully. That's our entire Navy, I mean Air Force. That's the entire Australian Air Force flying by. I just like how it's a no standing. <laughs> and that's exactly what they were doing. Ah! Bastard! Whatever, I took it anyway. Oh, that needed to be in colour. <sighs> the red bag. The red. It's pretty bad. I mean, it's either this or nothing. I mean, it's got, well, obviously something, but something I'm not going to enjoy. But no, I love being, I love creating imagery. It's the most important thing in the world for me. And it's not about being well known or famous. It's about that the more successful you become, the more time you have to shoot. And that's how it works, as opposed to having to find time in between jobs or commercial work or life. When you go out and shoot, you don't necessarily shoot great images, you just, you try. But those little moments, those times where everything comes together, it's quite incredible. To me, the reason why it's important is because it's unique. It's hard. It's a hard image to get. Sort of, not really. And the things that are hard to get that you really have to search for and look for, that's what becomes great and that's what becomes remembered. It's a recording of a time and a place. This was Sydney in 2013, 14, 15, 2025, whatever. If we lose this, then there's no history. You know, I, I shoot with toy cameras, I shoot with old things. And sometimes when I shoot, the frames stick together and sometimes it breaks down and doesn't work or screws up midway through. And the lenses aren't great, so they give weird blurs.
Hasselblad's more sort of more discerning about the imagery, not fast. It's more thoughtful. You slow down, you take it easy with Hasselblad me and light, and that's it. I really like that uh, steel cage. I think that makes the frame. Visually, you've got to rest your eye. You've just got to slow down and re-energize yourself. Coffees, cigarettes. It's alcohol, all those good things. When you talk about Sydney, it's all about the light. People always mention the light in Sydney, that amazing Australian light, a Sydney light. And I guess it is. I mean, for me, I'm just used to it. And I can't, you know, it's just what I know. And it's a certain type of light. And I use that light to create imagery. You know, the thing I like about this image is that stretched out shadow. It's cutting down. And if someone could kind of walk into that and maybe some of their body gets enveloped by that, it would be a nice image. It would be possibly a decent image. You've got to build steam, you can never stop. You never ever, you have to just keep going and going and going and even if you get somewhere, then you have to go harder and harder. Because if you stop for a moment, it's gonna catch up with you and you're gonna slow down and you're gonna lose that momentum and then it just fades. <laughs>